Venice. So um, I'm here to do a full moon and Libra reading. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these readings are general, they're for the collective. So if anything here doesn't resonate for you, I just want you to read it for someone who needs to hear it. And remember that there is no gender in Tarot. Uh, we'll check out your current energy. We'll move into the energy under the full moon. We'll pull a challenge card. We'll pull some advice. And we'll clarify everything with the tarot. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you're not new to me and you're seeing this, you do have to subscribe to this channel. I had to make a channel change. So I'll only be uploading content here now. Um, if you need to book a private personal reading or any other service, all that information is in the description below. I wanted to take a second out, not really to talk about myself, but to thank anyone who, you know, gave me some kind words over the last couple of days. Um, and to remind everybody that when you're out here interacting with people, to just be kind. Not everybody. <laughs> You know, at the end of a long, hard day, has someone to go home to. So make sure you're just nice to people, okay? Okay. Let's see what's going on. So I'll start with the Woodland Oracle. Just to pull the overall energy. Oh, and guys, don't forget that um, during airy season, all services by me are 25% off to folks that are... That have an airy sun sign. It's a little birthday gift. Okay. So the overall energy of the spread here is the night. Find comfort in the night where the world switches off and the stars burn bright. Give me the current energy for Aries in this situation. A personal issue reaches resolution. Under the full moon we have your commitment is being tested. The challenge is show the world the real you. And the advice is it's time to take action, which is Aries energy. Okay, so we have the Magician out, which is about manifesting. Um, maybe at night, you know, you're like goal-oriented, you like, you know, make future plans or think about where you really would like to get to in life. And I feel like that's really working out for you. It's like when you get that, you know, moment of stillness where you can really think about where you are currently and where you'd like to be. And I feel like you're kind of seeing the results of that, like whatever you've been really trying to get to happen for you in the current, says a personal issue, reaches resolution. So 
was clarified by the Six of Wands. The Nine of Cups. And the Tower. So I feel like perhaps this manifestation card here with the Knight was really more about worrying. You know, it was like worrying that something would not happen or come through for you. But in the current, it is. It's like, you know, you didn't see it coming. It's just here. But it's good. The Six of Wands and the Nine of Cups. It's exactly what you needed right at the right time. Tell me about your commitment is being tested. Okay, we have the Emperor, which is Aries energy. And also on the tower there, Aries energy. The Eight of Swords. King of Swords. So I feel like the what's lacking here is action, you know, because this is good news. This is like a, a win that you don't see coming. But I feel like you've done a lot of planning, like you've overthought the process, you've gotten it to a science almost, you know, very practical. But coming up here, it's like you're going to take this thought process and finally put, you need to put the action behind it. And the challenge is show the world the real you. So I feel like it's going to require some level of obviously vulnerability. Well, let's see. Why is show the world the real you challenge you? It's interesting that the King of Swords is out here and, and this Aquarius energy is out here, considering we do have Pluto and Aquarius and Aries. So, of course, with, with all of the lunar alignment here, I feel like you're doing something that actually requires, like this commitment is to the self. Okay. Because in the challenge, it seems like there are connections that will have to be sacrificed for new opportunities to happen. Or, and I would say connections because it's the Two of Cups. However that resonates for you. Um, It's almost like you needed some big change in life with the magician and it's here but you know in order to step into your true authentic self to be who you were destined to be and you know because you have thought long and hard on this it requires a level of self honesty it's, it's like understanding your truth and actually living in it. And in order to, to be the real you, you would have to practice things that perhaps you never have, like over giving in connections. You may not be able to do that anymore in order to pull this emperor energy off. Um, perhaps allowing other people to have control over you 
you can no longer do that. You have to take that, you know, like, like you're going to be taking back control of your life. Again, the challenge here is giving to connections that do not serve you and understanding that in order to find connections that represent the true you, where you can be your authentic, vulnerable self, you may have to actually find, you know, like the world is a completion of a whole chapter in life. It's transformation. It's a huge ending. And then there's a rebirth after it, you know? And maybe you've been thinking for a long time about, you know, basically the stability that people provide to you in life and the emotional connection and bond there. And showing the world the real you is really mostly about showing the world that you are a person who respects themselves, that you are in control of your life. And that can sometimes be actually pretty hard. You know, I have the tower here, which is transformation, and we're moving with the world into this emperor energy. So the, the challenge really is closing out the things that do not serve you on an emotional level and on a stability level. Sometimes that is emotional, you know? But people who do not, well, people, places, and things that do not add to life in a positive way. And it's all coming down to under the full, like, it's like the full moon is going to fully illuminate for you the energies that need to be dismissed from life and the advice is to go ahead and do it. Like, if you have sat and thought about someone for a long time and how they're not really bringing good value to your life, now is the time. It's like, even if you, you know, this is how you generally do it, you know, it's like you don't, you think and you think and you think and you don't take the action. And unfortunately, for some people in your life, this moon is going to present you with the action or put you in a position where you actually will have to do that, you know? So clarifying this, it's time to take it. Yeah, the Empress. And Venus is in Taurus right now. <laughs> High Priestess. Queen of Swords. And see, death is after that. So for a lot of Aries people, they may actually be going through the night in the current. And what we're seeing in the this future full moon action is that transformation and rebirth on life. Because, you know, it's like, this is, this is the Empress. This is a brand new journey, you know. Maybe for some of you, you actually are pregnant in the month of April, which is a, a beautiful new journey, a new chapter in life. But it is going to require you in, in, to use your intuition, you know, like when you are having these thoughts and you're being honest with yourself about how, you know, you're being treated in situations with people, places or things where you, where you need to have your guard up, where you need to set boundaries. So the advice is, you know, allow certain things in life to change. Um, in the moment, it may not see, even seem like some things are changing for the better. You may be cutting off, you know, connections with people where you are deeply emotionally involved. It's just that you have this realization when, you, when you're being real with yourself, you understand that you are the connection, you know, that other folks or, you know, workplace, whatever, they may not be there for you like you show up for them. And this is a very serious time to cut people off. So, you know, the Empress energy, you know, it is signifying birth, but understand birth is a very painful process. There's like a long gestation period. And after that, there is the literal birth, which is painful as hell. And then this brand new experience after it. But you, you, you know, the emperor and the empress, you have attracted what you have manifested here. And this is a transformation that's necessary. So if you, like in the current, you know, are really just coming out of like a really dark time, 
you need to reflect in the month of April, a couple of things like, you know, who was there for you when you were at that low point, who caused the low point <laughs> and who really didn't care that you were having a low point, even if they didn't cause it. And you need to really decide to take action on cutting certain situations off based upon those questions that under the full moon you will be asking yourself. So, you know, basically the hard times are over, but only because you have changed as a person. You have found, you know, self-respect, self-love. Um, you started keeping it real with yourself. And, you know, that process is actually pretty painful, but, you know, death is here, which means that those hard times are over. This transition is for your highest good but it will require some sacrifices all right that's what i have for you guys and i'll see you soon